All right, boys and girls, it's Friday night. I have no other obligations, so you know what that means. Time to record more campaign videos that won't be out for another week. Oh, yeah. Anyway, we're doing Birth Free Rod, the Indian campaign, and we're on scenario two with the Dig Vijaya. Rajasthan is a harsh land, a desolate desert snaked by the winding fingers of the Ganga River. The Rajput clans who rule here are as tough as the desert soil and as passionate and unpredictable as the rivers flow. The name Rajasthan means the land of the kings. And from this land come India's greatest warriors and rajas. A king named Jaya Chandra ruled the strongest of the clans. His experience and might was surpassed only by his bitter anger and ambition. He sought to rule all of Rajasthan. In keeping with the ancient traditions, Jaya Chandra ordered a ritual signifying his authority. A mare was released into Rajasthan and pursued by the king's warriors. Wherever the horse went, the ruler of that land would either accept Jaya Chandra's authority or challenge it by fighting the warriors. Well, that As seems pretty Mirad random. He hunted tigers in the forest. He discovered how quickly the hunter could himself become the hunted. All right. Um, okay. Prithvi Raj must survive. Find and kill the tiger following the trail of animal remains. Lovely. We are restricted to a pop limit of 200. Again, you can go full imperial age and get to 200 pop, I believe. Um, to hunt a tiger, Prithvi Raj must know when to stand and fight or run, although he cannot outrun the beast for very long. Even a few moments will help him recover his health. The Rajput clans war with each other as much as Prithvi Raj. Take advantage of this infighting by striking your enemies when they attack each other. The Cholukya, Sumra, and Lahora will become your allies when their kings are dead. Take care not to cause too much destruction in their lands. Though Jaya Chandra is your chief rival, it is not necessary to defeat him. By killing the Rajas and destroying the Naga, uh, Prithvi Raj will assure victory, or have victory, whatever. Prith Prithvi Raj has resumed his hunt, but his enemies force him back to Ajmer. You'll need to defeat the rival Rajas to rule Rajasthan. Jayachandra has begun his conquests by seizing the territory between the Ganja and Yamuna rivers, previously close to Ajmer, or perilously close to Ajmer. His army is diverse and prizes his elephant archers above all. The Chalukya command the seas from the Gujarat Peninsula, southwest of Ajmer. They have a formidable navy and armies of camels and cavalry. The Sumra control the Indus River from their coastal base in the delta to the west. They have borrowed cavalry archers and archer tactics from their former Muslim overlords. Uh, Lahora defends Kashmiri mountains to the north of infantry, skirmishers, siege, and monks. Finally, various other factions challenge Pithvi Raj. The Naga are fierce serpent people of the southern forests, while the Dakoits are bandits pushed to the desert and mountain fringes where they are ambushing passing travelers. Who oh boy, that was a lot. I don't know, they normally only have 25 HP. This one has 100 HP though, and we only have 90. But I think if we just take a smart high ground engagement, I think we should be fine. That's doing more than, uh, that's doing more damage than I thought. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Oh, we're totally fine. That wasn't close at all. Yeah, come on, Prithvi Raj. Got shit to do, man. Can't just be hunting tigers. Guess we will mount up. Yep. Uh, now we're back to being a cav archer hero. But we are only in feudal age. Um, they're priests. These have 50 HP. Anyway, um, the priests can't convert my hero, so just kill him with the hero. Pretty creepy, though. 
Got the circle of heads right there. They're serpent people, apparently. I'm pretty sure these Naga are actually Komodo dragons. Okay. I cannot get on board the transport. Oh yeah, I think I have to go all the way around to... Here's Chand. I don't know why Chand is always just like around, not too far away, but like not with everyone else. He was like that last scenario too. Whatever. Also, these elephants are kind of stuck. I remember this scenario having kind of a weird opening. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope. I'm gonna nope out of that one. With all these priests, AOE one priests. Anyway, um, I'm pretty sure there's a watchtower in here, like, in the wonder. Oh, that's probably what Prithvi Raj is attacking. But I think I should just be able to target all these priests. Uh, Chand, can you heal your man? Your prince? Okie dokie. This transport ship also has 50 more HP than normal. Also, there's a random fishing ship. Hopefully they don't have heated shot. Oh yeah. This is uh this is our little town. It's not very impressive. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, they couldn't really be more clear in which way you should go. So yeah, I'm. if I recall correctly, the dig Vijaya means like conquest of all directions. So really what's going to happen is we're going to be in the Feudal Age, in the middle of the map, with absolutely no defenses, and have to defeat everybody. Except I think uh, Jayachandra. Well, I think we have to assassinate some kings if I recall correctly. I've only played this on DE the once, and if you haven't noticed already, it's pretty different than uh, the HD version. Um, there we are. But you haven't been anywhere, Kimbasa. You're not even here. I don't remember not starting with any villagers, but I doubt they've updated it. Oh yeah, so we have to kill three enemy Rajas to the south, west, and north, and in the east is Jayachandra. Also, I think the Dacoits just attack you randomly, or whenever units draw near. Ooh, there's some uh, box turtles over this way. Go send Prithvi Raj to take him out, along with Chand. Sorry, Bardai. I'm pretty sure his name is Bardai. Oh, I wonder if they, I guess they don't deal bonus damage to Prithvi Raj. It makes sense because Prithvi Raj doesn't get bonus. Uh, he doesn't benefit from Parthian tactics, as we discovered. <gasps> never mind. Never mind. Yes, he does. Why do they get bonus damage against Prithvi Raj, but he doesn't benefit from frickin' Parthian tactics? Oh. 
Oops. Wait, no, not Bardai. And or Chand, as I will likely continuously call him. Well, that was like simultaneous. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not the nice lady. Um. There we go. Anyway, we'll just use Bardai here to heal him on up. I'm probably getting, like, everything entirely wrong, but because I'm recording all these videos, you know, five or six days before they go live, I will have no clue. Anyway, Indians have the super good fishermen. Also, I'm pretty sure these units are unupgradable. Actually, Prithvi Raj might be upgradable. I don't have a blacksmith, though. So it doesn't seem like our enemies are super strong, but they're strong enough. They're stronger than us. But that doesn't really say much. Hello, wild camel. Oh, those are show tells. What are you doing in India? Also, come to think of it, what are the camel archers doing here? <laughs> oh yeah, it looks like yellow is uh, Tartars, and everyone else is Indians, except the Naga, who are Malay, but I don't think they really do anything anymore. But yeah, gold. Gold is over here. But I don't think we need to gather any until we get up to Castle Age. Stone, though, we do need. There is some over here. So we can go take... Oh, there's also some over here, but this one's kind of far away. Why do I not remember much of these scenarios? Go take out the dudes over here. Whoa, villager, what are you doing? What on earth are you doing there? Yeah, these guys have no upgrades, they're not too scary. Well, the Shotel Warriors are, but they don't have much HP. Not be dumb. Oh god damn it. Can I just click up in a couple of vills vills. Anyway, as we're in a primarily Indian Zamir. Uh, we're gonna go for more camels. Because that's what Indians are good at. Also, we're facing enemies in every single direction. So, we need a fast unit. Oh, whoops. Whatever. There we go. With the power of micro! Oops, let's get that. Uh -huh. 
Okay, so I think we're going to TC that gold right there because that is the only gold I see. Oh, there's also stone over here. Whatever. This is a nice TC spot as well. But yeah, I do remember getting attacked from every side. Like, everyone does get up to Castle Age. Also, there are some relics lying around that we should pick up. But yeah, I'd rather not have to invest into military as long as I can avoid it, because our enemies all... Our enemies with each other. That makes sense. Everyone's fighting everybody. Wait, why can't I... I can place it there. Close enough. As soon as we get a little bit more stone, we'll be able to build another town center. Probably go up to four town centers. And these will serve to protect us as well as make villagers. Because protecting is obviously what we need. Okay, they only have bloodlines. And I do have two melee armor, which is nice, and I do even benefit from uh, fletching. Just continue to play Ring Around the Rosy. And this Town Center also benefits from fletching, interestingly. Okay, I don't think I lost any bills there. Anyway, because our economy is so fragile right now, it's nice that we have cheaper Indian bills. Oh. You are an elephant archer. Well, that's going to take a while to kill. I guess I can build on top of statues. Everyone else is still Feudal Age, though. Which is good news. Yeah, let's just take these elephants, why not? But I, I'm not too scared of anybody until we hit Castle, or until they hit Castle Age. Because Town Centers should have no problem holding off any Feudal Age shenaniganry. Hmm. There's another pretty good TC spot. Wood is again a little bit on the sparse side. What with being in Rajasthan and any everything, which is a big old desert. Namaste. 
Sorry, elephant. Don't go for the villager. Okay, he's just he's just chilling. Those guys are not though. In fact, they are hostile. Okay, so Lahora is Castle Age. They seem to be our strongest enemy. Even more than Jaya Chandra for some reason. No one thought he was the big boss dude. Wait, this isn't in range? I'm an idiot. I have 14 bills on gold. That seems like uh, way too many. Let's go over here. But it seems like we're still doing fine. Lahora might give us problems if and when they attack us, but they haven't done so yet. That is a singular men at arm. Estables. Oh, those are a few more men at arms. Still, though, again, TC's doing just fine. And maybe some of the other guys are attacking each other. Okay, Jaya Chandra. We need to have a talk. Your men-at-arms are throwing their lives away for no good reason. few camels. But our bill count is steadily increasing. That dock is Jayachandra's, which he made, and is gonna kill our starting transport ship, oh no. Kind of like the last scenario. If Prith Rod survives, that's great, but if he dies, I'm not especially worried. Now we have an army. There we go. Let's get Wheelbarrow. It's under attack? Oh. So, as of right now, the plan is to get a defensive castle, get some more upgrades for our camels, and then go after purple. 
Because he's the one that's been attacking us other than Jayachandra, who we don't need to defeat. Send in our own camels to help out. Oh, when did he get to Castle Age? I must have missed that. All right, a little messy, but we got it. We got it. The the castle up. Oh yeah, we should also get a monastery, collect some relics. Oh yeah, there's just some stone mines over here. I still have a ton of idols. Send some of these guys to gather gold as well. Oh. Okay, let's not go overboard. Okay, now yellow is Castle Age, leaving purple actually is still the only one in Feudal Age. Which means he'll be even easier pickings. Did I get my university? I never got my university. Should I get it for no other reason than to get ballistics. Anyway, it looks like the king's in the town center. Because that's what I remember, at least. Oh, come on! Even one stone away from a town center. Okay, here we go. Oh, of course I can't place one. Anyway, TC time. Because they'll become our allies, I'm gonna try and not destroy the TC so much as just force the king to be ungarrisoned and snipe him. Wait, oh crap, he, was, he, was, he went that way! Oops, I never hotkeyed them. Get him! Get him! Bima! Oh, this is happening. Wait, we, we we just killed that guy. <laughs> oh, here's some more gold. Ugh. Okay, should grab this other relic now. Where was it? Did someone else take it? I feel like someone else took it. There was one like over here somewhere. Oh, there's some stone. Okie dokie. Now, to yellow! Oh, whoops. Click imp. Actually, this is probably not enough camels. Especially with Cyan coming in that way. Oh, 
Let's just... Wasn't there some... Oh, there's some gold over here. Not the greatest mining camp spot, but there really aren't any great spots. The longswords don't do horribly versus my camels, which is not great for me, but whatever. more stables. And I think I'll just roll into yellow. Or maybe cyan. Once I get him. It's the Gaul Goombas. This is not the Indian Wonder. That's where this dude's hanging out. Oh yeah, I think these guys are walled. I don't remember if I said that already. So I'm going to need to get a treb or so. Oh. And there he goes. Get that, and that, and that, and that. Oh, purple's actually helping us. That's nice of them. That's actually helpful. Good on you, purple. Chalukya. Sumra? Come on, Sumra. Yeah, the Vil Count isn't doing so hot, but that's mostly in the context of very few gold miners. Anyway, there's Heavy Camel. Seems like we're doing pretty well over here. But again, gold is an issue. Still, though, none of them are imp. That's a lot of monkers. Okay. Time to roll in the trebs. I guess I'm pretty... Yeah, there's a gate right here. And it's locked. No uh, slipping units on through. Well, can't gather gold that way. Camel? Yeah. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to destroy the gold gumbas. Wait, what? Why did you unpack? Dumb treb?
No, can I? I just want to. Ugh. World's the slowest gate destruction. Okay, can I reach him or do I need to destroy the building? The Golgumbaz. Oh, I could get the corner attack, but uh, unfortunately, I need to destroy the building. Now, my population is really flatlining. So we're just going to sell our stone and hope for the best. Even really, the lack of gold is the biggest limiting factor. I guess I could establish trade. Um, those guys don't have a market. Maybe none of them build markets for that very reason. Oh, it doesn't seem like the gold gumbas has a ton of armor, if any. I'm, I'm, like, so mispronouncing literally everything. Oh well, I don't speak Hindi. Or Urdu, or Bengali, or any of the other Indian languages. This is a pretty building. Shame I have to camel it down. And that should be Cyan, indeed. Sounds good. Um, please help out, camels. Anyway, uh, yellow is not walled. Which should mean we should just be able to run in with our camels and kill them. These guys have a market? Nope. Anyway, time to right-click a town center. Unless I'm missing it. Nope. I wonder what's over here. I don't remember. But, like, there's no reason to ever come over there. Oh, they do have these watchtowers I'll probably need to snipe. But there's only two of them, as far as I can tell. And this should die really fast. Oh, yeah. And that should be all she wrote. Oh, nope. You slippery frickin' king. Oh, don't go into the other TC. Oh, we got him. I guess... Oh, wait, they don't ally with each other. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Like, we're both friends with purple and yellow now. Aren't we now the... Wait... Oh, I forgot to destroy the Naga Wonder. Yeah, that's really weird. Why is this part of the scenario still? Like, huh? What does 
what does the purpose of going back here and destroying a wonder serve? I guess I can go kill Red in the meantime. Don't want to spend too much gold, though. I'm going to want Bombard Cannons, or Bombard Cannon Galleons, you know, the, the thingies. Damn, purple's the, the highest score. Oh man, they're even taking it to yellow on water. Get Galleon. Oh, wait. We can't make Galleons, or can Galleons, because they said in the last scenario that this takes place centuries before gunpowder, which is true, but they still let me research a leaked cannon galleon because apparently they want me to waste my resources. Anyway, how are you guys doing in being patrolled into the enemy base? Seems like you're doing just fine. So I guess we'll just have to rely on galley power. Which, since these guys, I'm pretty sure, don't have heated shot, shouldn't be too big of a deal. Guess we should focus the castle. Also, we're not allowed to research shipwright for some reason. Indians have it, but unless they change that with FE? Oh, they did! I am pretty sure Indians used to have shipwright. Or did they? Am I, am I misremembering? Probably. Yeah, the tower's not dealing too much damage to us. And we just need to deal with this wonder for some reason. Because apparently the Naga are a threat much more so than Jayachandra. Also, I assume Naga are creatures from Indian mythology or something? Because it's the the name of, a, like, isn't it like Naga part of a Corsair line for gaming appliances, like my, mouse or keyboard or something? Pretty sure that's a thing. Maybe it's Razor. I don't know. They all have names like that. Like, my mouse is a Razor Death Adder. Also, Naga, I'm pretty sure, are also a thing in the Warcraft universe. But yeah, I, I assume they're some sort of... beast of Indian folklore. <laughs> what? Fire galley or fire ship attacking a random crocodile. Yeah, I'm not really sure why this is part of the scenario. Like, okay, I can understand the tiger hunt thing. And then, like, traveling through here to go, you know, from just a playboy prince to actually doing stuff, but I'm not really sure why we need to come back here. And yeah, there was a watchtower beneath it. Yeah. Look at Jayachandra running past the canoes like a chastened child. Raja, 
Well, I, I think that's because we're just, like, destroying his base. Whatever. Oh, it looks like the decoits were hanging out over here. There's a relic. It's a marambi. But, like, you could only go... How would you even get over here? You would have to destroy the gate when Cyan is still your enemy. Just so you could run over here to get all the gold and stone. That seems like way too much of a hassle. Because, like, once, once they're your ally, the gate's still locked. Yeah, that's weird. Weird, 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 weird. Anyway, here's Jayachandra's little island thing. Because it's technically a peninsula. Here's purple and all their cavalry. Yellow, they had cav archers and light cav, and then cyan had uh, swordsmen and skirmishers and monks. All of India. Oops. Conquest of all directions. Yeah, that's Rajput right. princes submitted to him, and word of his victories spread far. Princes came from all lands to congratulate the young Raja. But far greater than any princely gift was the love of a princess. In Kannoj, in the very court of his rival Jayachandra, Prithviraj caught the eye of Sanyugita, a headstrong Rajput princess with bewitching beauty. The young king fell in love with Jayachandra's own daughter. This will not end poorly. Or, this will totally end poorly. <laughs> Oh yeah, and the latest update, the KD is completely bugged. Because I'm pretty sure we killed more than zero units, and we lost more than 14. Oh, I guess those are the resources I received at the beginning. Not like a super easy scenario, but not too hard either. Anyway, that is the Digvijaya. Next up will be the Hand of a Princess. See you then.